Hair is innate to each of us, and it couldn't be more ordinary. But in the hands of the artist, hair becomes the material and source of inspiration for artistic creation. There is such a hair embroidery artist in China, Meng Yangguo, who embroiders the East with his hair as a thread. First, clean and tidy the hair. Then, according to the pre-designed patterns, choose hairs of different thicknesses and textures to start creating. Hair embroidery has a history of hundreds of years in China. Hair embroidery works are mainly black. A few years ago, teachers from the Amsterdam Academy of Art in the Netherlands visited China. They left golden hair. Since then, Chinese hair embroidery has added different colors of hair. You see, this is the hair embroidery work of the world-famous Mona Lisa. On the black-dominated picture, different hair strands such as yellow are added, making the whole work more three-dimensional and full of changes. If you look closely at this Einstein's hair embroidery work, you can find that it is different from the embroidery stitches used by the Mona Lisa, showing different personalities and artistic styles. Recently, Wenzhou University in China established a hair embroidery research institute. Hair embroidery, this ancient skill has made new developments in the new era.